Okay, so today we're quickly going to talk about a um, Cloudera or CDH, the quick start version. You can download this, you um, uh, um, just go to their site, Google it. They have this quick start version. I'm going to try use that and just do some uh, a quick hive work in there and just, just a super basic overview of what Cloudera quick start Hadoop is. So um, there's this download and you can download a few. I'm, I'm going to do VirtualBox download and um, it says you know you need a 64-bit OS and, and, and that kind of detail. So quickly just uh, um, and, and I know this is super basic but, but for what is VirtualBox so what is VirtualBox? Uh, um, you know, just a, a very basic overview of, of what that is. You know, if you know what this is already, you can skip this. You don't need to listen to this. But VirtualBox really is um, a, uh, a, a virtual computer. So uh, um, typically, uh, you have your computer over here. And uh, you've installed on, on this computer, you've installed your little um, OS and let's say you installed something like uh, uh, um, Windows or Windows or uh, a Linux version or a Mac or Mac OS. Um, so, so, so you've you've installed that on your machine and and you're running very happily. And um, your machine has um, you know, a certain amount of RAM on on the machine. Uh, um, available and and um, and it has a certain amount of processors. Uh, just use this for a processor, I guess. Um, so let's say uh, my machine here has a, a uh, um, x amount of processors. So um, so there's another processor and another processor. So let's say my machine has a four processor machine. This is what I have here, and I'm running um, the, the the Windows or Mac or Linux on there. So it, it's very happy, and that's my operating system. And my operating system or my machine has access to all these resources. So uh, along came VirtualBox, which is a piece of software you can install on your machine, and, and you could even run multiples of them at the same time. And maybe in, in this guy over here, uh, you're gonna go and install something like um, uh, Linux, um, and um, so you you're sort of creating a, a little computer inside your computer. Um, if if and and I'll show you now how that sort of works for for people who haven't seen that before. But you're sort of gonna go create that, and you're gonna say, you know what, uh, you have access. Uh, um, uh, um, to um, to one of these uh, processors, and you um, have access to another processor, but only one. And I leave the other two processors for my original operating system. So it's sort of a mini computer inside your other computer. And that's really all VirtualBox is. You assign and say, you know, I have eight gigs of RAM. You can have two gigs, and you can have two gigs. So, I uh, I then have one physical computer and two virtual computers, um, and I'm running three different operating systems or three computers at the same time. So really, that's all uh, um, uh, that uh, um, um, VirtualBox really is. It's it's fairly simple. Um, uh, um, and that concept's been around for quite some time, virtual computing. So nowadays, you know, you have a huge computer and you break it up into many smaller computers virtually and you assign processors and things to computers. So that's the va very basic overview of what VirtualBox is and virtual computing. Uh, there's a lot to me more to be said about that, but just for, for the basics of it. So VirtualBox typically looks like this. Um, here I have a, a Oracle running, I have an open SU, uh, SUSE, which is a Linux distribution, a Ubuntu, and then what I downloaded from uh, these guys, from Cloudera, is a VirtualBox image. So I downloaded this thing, it's pretty big, um, and then you go into VirtualBox, and you go and say file, and you import, there's a thing called import appliance. 
and then you look for that file uh, and you basically import it. Um, so it, d it does a bit of running, it imports and there's your, your, your machine now. And now um, inside this machine you have some settings, you know, uh, um, in this case uh, the machine's already running but I assigned 5 gigs of my 8 gigs of RAM to the machine, I assigned uh, three processors to the machine so I can assign like I showed in the previous picture over here I'm assigning uh, amounts of RAM or processors to this new uh, uh, image that I downloaded uh, from, from, from Cloudera and uh, that's it over there and then I start it so I start it up and what I then have is I have another computer inside my computer and this is a Linux distribution this is a Linux VM that, that was started and Cloudera has already installed all the software on there for me. So I don't have to do much. I, I really just start this computer inside my computer, inside VirtualBox, and now I'm running a computer that they prepared for me. It was generated from that, uh, um, that image that, uh, that I downloaded from them. And it's pretty nice. Um, First of all, uh, um, you have uh, Cloudera Manager, and you have you, which is um, sort of uh, using and uh, um, you know looking at Hadoop and monitoring it. So from Cloudera Manager perspective, they give you the username and a password. Um, and I'm going to ask that we remember that and. Um, so um, you can see that then inside this virtual box I'm now running a full distribution of Hadoop. It has Flume, it has HDFS of course, Hive, U, Impala, which is the SQL, Hive and, uh, and Impala, I'll show you something on that now. And MapReduce of course, Uzi, it's got Solar in. I've done some videos on Solar, really good stuff, Scoop for getting data from other databases, Yarn and Zookeeper, that's really just um, cluster management but this is a single single server I'm running a single machine and you know there's, there's of course a lot of stuff inside you know a, a, a Cloudera itself there's the machine I have running you could add more machines and create clusters this is not that kind of video so we're gonna um, look at uh, uh, quickly just to prove that it's working I'm gonna go into uh, um, you over here <coughs> and um, there it is, and uh, you know, there's all, all the all, all the all the things it has. It has Hive, Impala, Pig, Search. So um, you know, it's 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 a lot easier than 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 doing this from a command line. So if I go to Hive, okay. So once inside a Hive editor over here, I'm gonna say um, create table. Uh, let's just, just call it. Age name, whoops. Uh, age name, uh, and I'm just gonna say age is an integer and name equals a string. Okay, and I'm gonna say in the row format, meaning the data will be in row, row after row, limited. Limited <laughs> uh, um, fields, fields terminated by a uh, comma, uh, comma. So basically, I'm I'm going to create a hive table here called age name, and the two columns will be age and name, and it will be in row format, meaning row after row, and it will be delimited by a a comma meaning the input file I, wa I want to give um, Hive over here or, or Hadoop as a, a, a CSV file. So I'll go create that and we can see it's so easy here um, and, and the UI it really has come back say no no problem everything good there's no issue uh, what's your next command so I'm gonna go create a, a little text file here and I'm gonna say vi slash tmp slash age underscore name dot csv so I'm just going to create a little file there um, and this is typically what your you know the data you receive 
your huge data you want to store in Hadoop versus versus that file. So I'm going to say 21, and that's verb. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, 33 that's Tom uh, 44 that's Peter uh, uh, 42 is Mary and 56 uh, Jeev and 33 Ganesh okay there, there's all the names of course the, uh, you know this is just a sample so I'm going to save that file so if I more slash tmp slash age underscore name or csv, there's my, my source file. So now I'm going to read that into the Hadoop, into the table, uh, the Hive table, and I'm going to say um, load data from local, meaning from a local file system, in path from a path and we will say slash tmp says age underscore name dot csv that's a file you can go read and I'm gonna say over, over right so over right if it already exists and I'm gonna say into the table we created called age underscore name so that I'm now reading the data into Hadoop um, using the U front end, it came back and says it's all good. So now I can start doing stuff like select star from age underscore name um, and execute that, and there's the result: age and name um, from my um, my little Hive table there. So you know, a, 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 as Hive normally works. It uh, just um, you know does a query and and comes back. You can see that I did a select star. But now if you know in Hive, if I were to go select star from uh, age underscore name, where age is greater than forty, uh, for instance, uh, age name, where age is greater than forty. Let's uh, uh, um, see what happens now. Now, uh, typically in Hive, that turns that into a MapReduce job. So it compiles the job, it's executing the job. And here we can now see, of course, the actual MapReduce job running. It's currently in the map stage. Mapping is done. Now it's going to run the reduce part, the result, and there it comes back. So there is my uh, Hive query executed, compiled into a, 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 a MapReduce job, executed on the cluster, and here's the result back. So um, again, you know that that's a simple example, just doing a Hive query in there, showing that the cluster is working. Of course, there's Impala, there's Pig, there's the file browser. Um, you know, um, and you can go look at all the. <coughs> the file system you have there. There's your meta store. Uh, that's all the tables I've created already. There's my jobs, my job browser, my job designer. This really is the Uzi designer, or uh, you can design, <coughs> run jobs, um, and schedule them. All of that stuff's available here. Um, you know, there's there's a your solar search if you were to set up solar in this environment you could run it as your user administrators it's all in here um, it, it really is uh, uh, amazing stuff uh, um, and um, you can go download it now and and it basically is uh, for free so um, again that is just a very quick showing of uh, using a dupe um, uh, running inside Cloudera uh, CDH quick start um, and um, uh, again, the the other big concept here was just, um, and I know everybody knows this, but um, you know, running a virtual machine, downloading VirtualBox, and running a um, a another copy, and in this case, you know, I just ran one, but running another virtual machine <coughs> on top of my machine, basically turning my machine into several more machines. So. Um, Thank you very much and um, I hope that was uh, uh, helpful.